Hi there and welcome back to another episode at Station Road. Now this is probably more of a quick sort of update video which goes into a little bit of detail about the finishing off of this upper level station which of course a couple of videos back and there's a link up in the corner there was the scratch building of the station which is based on St Michael's station in Liverpool. So the one thing that was holding back the progress on the station was I ordered in some 3D printed chimney pots which are now in place on top of the chimney stacks. So I went back to a supplier in the UK which I'd bought some 3D components before and I've got to do a wee shout out for this guy. His name's Pete Gom and it's Model Railway Scenes that this chap operates from the UK and I'm really impressed with the 3D printed components that he does put together and I think previously I bought some shopping trolleys and various other bits and pieces and they do actually look absolutely fantastic. I think one of the key aspects to his 3D printed components is there's none of those striations that you sometimes get with 3D printed elements. So in this order I bought quite a number of different chimney pots because I've got a lot of buildings and none of them have chimney pots anyway and also bought a small selection of domestic animals which are really incredible they're so tiny and they're going to be a bit tricky to paint there was also some park benches that I bought and of course also a police box so along with the addition of the chimney pots there are a number of other elements that I added to the station and that included guttering downpipes and the lead flashing that you often find at the edges of roofs and around the chimney breasts and the ridges and valleys within a roof profile. So when it came to the lead flashing I thought probably the easiest thing to do was actually just to get some grey card and then quickly sort of knock up a outline on the computer just as a key line that I could then print onto the grey card and then from that point it was just a case of hand cutting them out and then quite carefully folding them along crease lines and then applying them to the roof. So in terms of the guttering and downpipes this was simply a plastic kit and I can't remember whether it was wills or ratio I often get those two muddled up and that was simply a case of cutting each of the elements to the right lengths and so forth and gluing them to the building. So I think in general the station building is certainly coming together quite well. The only really remaining elements to do now is a bit of weathering and I think I'll go reasonably light on the weathering. I sort of want it to look like it has been looked after a little bit and then there will also of course be some elements, various sort of items to be placed in situ outside the station as well so that might include a bicycle stand, rubbish bins and other bits and bobs like that. So alongside the station uh, I've been working away at a pub which is going to go next door and this of course is going to hide a handle which will be placed on this upper level baseboard so that can be easily lifted out. Now the interesting thing about this pub is it's actually from a very old kit a Builder Plus kit from the 1970s and although it's a little bit basic in terms of its detail level it's actually come out reasonably well. Now I have done some modifications to this kit and I think what I'll do is go into a little bit more detail about this in the next video and then finally I started working on part of the landscape surrounding this branch line station and working out the landform for the cutting between really essentially the two tunnels. So it's an unusual shape and once again I've used the high density foam and essentially created a weird template. I've built up the layers of the foam and then I've also made up some further Metcalf retaining wall which of course comes from the Metcalf fire duct kit 
and then those walls are applied to the actual foam structure itself. Now the reason I've done that is because at the moment the whole thing is detachable and I can take that off, I can do all the ground cover that needs to be done, I can do all the weathering and all of that kind of stuff away from the layout before it gets permanently anchored into place. So I think this embankment and then the retaining walls offer a reasonably feasible scenario with this particular area. I can sort of almost imagine possibly that the branch line may have originally been the main line and then at a later stage there was a deviation put in place and new tunnels were built and they chopped into the hillside but maybe for structural reasons they couldn't just completely level the area so hence why the small piece of landform has been kept with the retaining walls supporting it. So there we have it that's progress at the moment on this particular area of the layout and I guess you could say not a lot of progress but it's slowly getting there. So another subject that I actually wanted to touch base on and actually involves you guys and I sort of felt that it was probably high time that I actually asked you all what are the types of topics and things that you might find interesting that maybe you'd like to see on Station Road. Now one of the things that I've kind of been toying with is possibly getting into maybe doing a few reviews. Now I know that there are a number of channels that do some very good reviews. They're extremely thorough. Some are brutal, some are very kind and a number of them also have star ratings and things like that. Now I don't really sort of feel like I want to go to that level where you've got scores for different aspects of a model but I kind of felt that maybe I could offer up sort of more of a general review of a product be it a locomotive or rolling stock that I've recently purchased. So I'll put that question to you would you be interested in some reviews from time to time from the Station Road channel. And another thought too that I had, and this really stems from the marvellous and wonderful comments that viewers submit on my videos. And on various occasions I get to hear about what you guys are doing and what you might be modelling. And that made me sort of think, is there the potential to showcase what possibly you guys are doing on this channel. So whether it be with some short video or possibly through some still photography that I can showcase what you guys are actually up to. Now I'd probably have to have some kind of limit on what can be showcased. Uh, possibly it might come down to smaller components of what maybe you're modeling or maybe it's a particular area of your layout that happens to be your favorite area could be anything like that but possibly not a 40 by 50 foot layout showcasing your entire repertoire of modeling endeavors so let me know is this something that you might like to see on station road channel and one last little bit of news and some people may have spotted it through the Station Road Facebook page and I'm in the throes of establishing a website for Station Road. Now at the moment it's just a landing page, uh, there's nothing more to it but the plan is that this will be yet another area where people can go and look at what I'm up to but also what my plan is is to also make things like the design work for example that went into this particular building here that I will make that available as a downloadable PDF that people can download and possibly build their own. So there's a number of elements and things that I've designed on the computer that I can make accessible for you guys to have a crack at yourself. So my thoughts were the best way really to make all this type of stuff available is to have a website where people can go and access various bits and pieces. So I think that's about it for this particular episode. 
as I mentioned earlier I'll go into a little bit more detail in the next video about the pub next to St Michael's Station and there's a bit of an interesting story behind that pub which I found quite fascinating as I built it and also hopefully there'll be a little bit more progress made with the station area and around the tracks and the platform hopefully I'll have the embankment established on the other side of the station which will of course also include the upper level where there will be a few more industrial buildings so I'd just like to say a big huge thank you to all my viewers on the Station Road channel and to all of those who leave comments don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber so take care everyone do look after yourselves and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.